So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Senshi, full contact rules, that's K1 rules for the uninitiated once again. Fought at under 95 kilograms. I'm joined once again by a legend and one of my heroes, Semi Schilt. Semi, what an evening it's been. Yeah, it's great, man. And I've said it a few times, the matchmaking has been fantastic from Andrian Dimitrov. Um, really, you know, you take a chance. A lot of these guys are making their debut here, but they're seasoned fighters away from Senshi. But you've got to take a chance when they come to a new event because it's different, the lights, the cameras, the action. It's different, it can upset you in some ways, um, especially if you've traveled. But every fighter tonight has been up for the challenge. Albert Krauss here, our referee for this contest. And I'll, come, I'll say it here and now, right now, Sammy. I'm not a fan of celebrity referees, however, the, you guys tonight, and I've listened to you in your briefings, you take your job very, very seriously indeed, and you've all done a fantastic job. So, full credit to all of you. Yes, I agree. You know, sometimes uh, it maybe looks a little bit uh, sloppy or something, but we know what, we know we are fighters. We know what's, what's going on no, in the heads of the, of, the, of the fighters. So, I think uh, it's always our job to not to interfere too much, you know? Yeah, less is yeah. more sometimes yeah. when you're refereeing. Yeah. Um, but everybody's done a great job. Yes, thank you very much. This was a very nice high kick. Hi. Yep. Both guys look in fantastic shape. 95 kilograms. Albert Krauss there telling them no holding, not getting involved too much, like you say, and they're following his instructions. High kicks there from Abdelalah Azouzi from Belgium, carrying the Moroccan flag into the ring. Oh, nice left hand. That was stiff. And was no, that no, a no. knockdown no, or was he off balance? I think it was off balance. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was. It was. He okay. didn't know what to do. So Albert seven. decides that that yeah. was a knockdown and gives the Serbian fighter yeah. an eight count. And actually, so uh, he's think, not moaning too much about uh, it. I think it was. And Azuzi, well, he's got some intensity here inside the Senchi ring, hasn't he? Yeah, it's, it's a big chance to show yourself, of course. So. Yep. Both making their debut, but they know that this is a huge stage to fight on and their opportunities could open up for them. And Azuzi, great with a counter. Very flexible, upstairs, downstairs. Follow it, Loki. Oh! Oh! Go, 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 go! Flying knee there. Yeah. Well, the tables have turned. I, yeah. <laughs> but he's holding now. He's holding now to taking his breath. Yeah, Milosh. Yeah, yeah. Sveti Chan in there. He came back with a technique of his own. Oh. And put the pressure, man. The Belgian fighter there. He's all at sixes and sevens at the moment. Yeah. Oh! And the Serbian smelling blood. He doesn't want to left. He doesn't want to let him off the hook. There's 20 seconds of this first round left. No, but you have to put on the far power now. Well. Oh, oh lovely right oh. hand and an uppercut. Hey. Very nice, very nice. Just a few seconds, seconds left. He's going to make the end of the round. Come on. Wow. Wow. What an exciting round. Man, that just shows you how things can turn around yeah. in a millisecond. And even after that knockdown, yeah. the Serbian will have grown in confidence. Um, Look, what he felt, but at first I didn't thought it was a knockdown, but then he doubted too long to stand up. Yeah, let's watch there. So that punch maybe had some effect. 
Now, this and one there's be, oh. that right hand. <laughs> and actually, he avoided a punch and countered yeah. that beautifully. On the butt. There we see it again, a right hand, right uppercut, and then a flying knee, and he's lucky that and that knee good. didn't land. Yeah. Very exciting. And actually, the Belgian fighter, he's looking a little bit tired. He did give it everything in the first couple of minutes of that first round. The Serbian has to come out into this second round with, yeah. a, with confidence flowing through his veins. Confidence and, the, and the, the, it's necessary for him also. Well, Rick. leaning on him there. A bit of dirty boxing going on. Combinations there. I was just going to say, if you're going to throw a combination, add that low kick to the end of it. Now, oh. the Belgian fighter pushed into the corner, but he forces his way out, overpowering the Serbian. And I think Asuzi is tiring. He's still got the power. And when, when Milos Svetichanin switches it on, he's got great head movement and a good counter punch. There we go, combination followed by a low kick. Nice right hand. Just, he just fell over there, that was off balance. We're halfway through the second round. A fantastic matchup from these Big guys, 95 kilograms. I think it's clear that the red corner, Azuzi is, is the more powerful of the two, Semi. But actually, we saw Milos in that uh, in the first round that the Serbian has got the power to hurt the Belgian fighter. Yeah. Oh. The Serbian. The Serbian being told to low kick. Both of them feeling the pace now. 20 seconds to go of this second round. And everybody on tonight's cards conditioning has been fantastic. Oh, lovely high kick. And a lovely right hand back. Well. Very nice. Well, I didn't give my usual call of the scores after the first round. But I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've been doing it all night. <laughs> Before I get distracted by our lovely ring girl. Um, so I'm gonna give that first round 10-9 to the red corner, and I'm gonna give the second round a 10-9 to the blue corner. So they come out, in my uneducated, unofficial opinion, around a piece. Yeah. I don't know if you agree with that, Sammy, but um, yeah, we've got they, it all to play they, for. Then you don't count the knockdown. So oh. it, it should be oh, eight, oh, 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 eight you're right. rounds. Oh! So this is really exciting, <laughs> last round. Oh, my goodness. You're right. And the down was on, on, on the, the, the other side. Come on, Come on man. What are you doing, <laughs> what are you doing to me? <laughs> so, so we're still... Where do we have that then? My goodness. But so the, blue, the blue corner now, I really serious, serious have to do it. You have to come. Oh! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, what a kick! That what came out of nowhere! Huh. And it was on the button!
Button. It's all over, I'm sure of it. Oh my goodness! Yeah. You said he's got it all to do, yeah. and boom, out of nowhere! That was incredible! Yeah. And anyone who says to me the head kicks don't work, show them that on a highlight reel. That was absolutely incredible. Milos Shveti Chanin comes out in the final round, and boom! Here we go in the replay. And in, oh, that timing wow. was spectacular. As soon as he throws a punch, there you go, he threw the left hand. And, and Milos timed that perfectly. Absolutely fantastic. Please welcome Zahari Damiano. Wow. wow. And a big round of applause for Abdila Azuzi. And Azuzi there, he's up on his feet, but he still doesn't really know where he is. The yeah. doctor's obviously giving him a check over, making sure he's okay. What a victory. What a victory for the Serbian fighter. Milos Fetichanin, both of them making their debut in the Senshi ring this evening, and the Serbian going home victorious. And man, we can't wait to see him back in here. Big knockout.